What a perfect day for football we've got here. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. League uh, action for you today. I think we're both really looking forward to this, Alan. Now, there's certainly a buzz in this stadium in the uh, minutes leading up to kickoff. I hope the match doesn't disappoint. I don't think it will. We've got a couple of attacking sides here. Well, this is today's Nîmes lineup. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a, a fit on the front foot, we'll wait and see. This is the away team lineup. So, Alan, 4 4 2. Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape, it's the one that the manager prefers. Referee uh, satisfied, everything's OK, and off we go. Diallo. Probing away, working away at the opposition with these passes. Here's a chance to whip it in. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Diallo. Well, then it goes. Well, it was a cross. But he got in quickly, but he didn't really control. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Threads it through. Wonderful chance! Absolutely no trouble for the goalkeeper. Nothing wrong with the industry of the team. That little bit of inspiration lacking, but they need to get their noses in front. Grancier. Now there is some space in the wide area. Chance to cross it. This might be dangerous from the corner. Corner's taken. Superb work to reach that great technique and great belief to feel that he could stop the goal. We all love looking at goals, Martin, but there's something special about a defender showing those kind of defensive instincts. Put the corner in the middle. There was a chance, really, of getting into a scoring position then, but anything but. Roux. here to set up a chance <laughs> a 
Charbonnier. Enterprising attacking play, but not quite enterprising enough. Well, they've got the opposition on the back foot with this break. They're coming at them with numbers. The goal that would put them in front doesn't look too far away, the way they're playing. Diallo. Here's a chance to just stretch the opposition with a bit of width. Well, the team with the ball have got a problem now because the opposition are just sitting behind the ball and letting them pass in front. They've got to find some attacking players with some penetration in their passes. That's fair play. He's got his body in there and he can protect the ball. He's got skill with the ball, backing himself in these... The break is definitely on. Can't hang onto it, the keeper. The defenders managed to get in the way there. Diallo. A strong player, and he shielded it well. Lucas Doe. Rue. Yeah, some of the fans giving the players a bit of stick, urging them on. They keep conceding chances like that. They have got no chance. And off he goes, with some options. Taking on a couple of opponents now. Now he can cross it. And that's the referee's decision. Two added minutes. That is half time, and the score is nil nil here. They've actually had the same number of shots. That has been reflected really on the way this game has gone in the first period. Well, he does look to be heading for a draw, but you never know in football, the second half might be totally different. Here we go, the referee's blown his whistle, and we're off for the second half. Nolan Roo. I've got his angles wrong with the pass. Well, they're getting the ball forward, they need to do that. That's good passing, probing. Charbonnier. Diallo. Maybe he'll cross it here. Looking to create an opening. Diallo. Working the ball around, working the opposition around. Looking to attack it in the middle. Done well to get it wide. Not done so well with the delivery from the wide areas. Rue. This could be an opportunity in behind the defence. Looking for goal now. What a fine save. Corner played into the middle. Couldn't hold on to the ball. Diallo. And they're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. Well, space to get the cross in. That's a great finish for the first goal of the day. And 
the goal well taken by the player for Brest. Well, it's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. So the first goal, it's 1-0. And 20 minutes to go. They obviously believe that they can find this equaliser by passing their way through the opposition. Good defending, dealt with a decent cross. Here's a chance to just stretch the opposition with a bit of width. No threat now. Samuel Grancy. Diallo. And they're trying to dispossess him. Some players limbering up for the away team. Substitution in the offing. Turn pass, it's given away. The supporters, Alan, trying to play their part here and lift the home team. Yeah, I think they believe, Martin. The question is, do those players down on the pitch believe as well here? Well, we've only got seven minutes remaining now. They're looking good when they attack. And he gives it back to it. And they're keeping the ball, that's the important thing. Heavy touch. Diallo. A chance to play it into the centre now. That's out of danger there with that clearance. And up goes the board. There'll be two added minutes. Listen to the atmosphere in here. Those fans certainly doing the bit to spur their team on for an equaliser. And that is the end. It's all over. Well, that sort of win is really satisfying because they've had to give body and soul to get it. Yeah, it was a really close call, but uh, there's a lot of those players produced the best out there and they deserve that win.